Welcome back guys. In this video I am going to tell you how you can simply install JDBC MySQL connector driver on Ubuntu. This is latest Ubuntu 22.04. Open your favorite browser and simply type JDBC MySQL driver. It will take you to the first page MySQL download connector J. Click on this and here you will get the chance to select your operating system. So you can see the connector version is 8.4.0 and here we will select Ubuntu Linux. Under this you will find Ubuntu Linux 24.04, 23.10 and 22.04 versions. Currently we are on 24.04. So we will download this one. You can log in or sign up but I will simply click no thanks just start my download. Save. It's relatively small file so it will take no time to download. Now you can go and say show in folder. Alright. So now we can see we have mysql connector.deb. Right click on this and click extract here. We have extracted the package, open it, go to user, share, java and here you will find the main jar file. Watch this video till the end because I will be sharing a very helpful tip which will make your life much easier. Alright, since we have the mysql connector jar file, now it's time to test it out. I'm using mysql server here to log in into the root user I will use my command mysql user root with password and in my case the root password is root only here you can see all the databases and I have created one table in the sys database use sys if you want to know how I installed this mysql server and created this root user please watch these two videos now i'm inside the database and uh, show you my table using the describe command my table name is employee and it has only two columns it's a very simple table just for demonstration purpose and i have also inserted few records you can see I have ID 100 named David and 101 with name Alan. So I will try to fetch this information into my Java application. I have already written a test application. Here you can see I am loading the class driver, making up the connection, creating the statement, executing the select query and finally here I am printing out. The final thing we need here is the jar file your jar file should be on the same directory as of your java application so let me copy my jar file from downloads java.jar at the current location the jar file and java application are on the same directory now let's export the mysql connector jar file to the class path for that use this command export class path equals to this is the same name of the jar file put a colon and a period sign at the end hit enter and done now everything is at the right place the final step is to compile this application so I will use Java C and you can see here this application compiled successfully without any warnings or errors finally run the same application with the Java command hit enter and you can see here it's saying a welcome message it's giving me a deprecation message that uh, com.mysql jdbc driver is deprecated and the driver is automatically registered with spi and manually loading of the driver class is generally unnecessary so it's fine let's ignore for now the class is loaded successfully Database is connected successfully, statement was created successfully and we received the dataset successfully. And here you can see I got the ID of David is 100. Hence we have successfully 
connected our java application with the mysql server and we can easily fetch the information from the stored table in a database that's all for this video i hope this video helped you if it does give this video a like share with your friends and do subscribe to educators thank you now time for the bonus part if you close your terminal and start a fresh session try to execute the same java application which was executed successfully hit enter and this time it will not this is because the class path you exported was only for that terminal session again export the class path run the terminal the program executed successfully move mysql connector to this location let me retry with the sudo now second improvement you can do type vim dot bash rc this is the file which loads every time you open your terminal so this is the best idea to put all the export class path commands here but don't forget to complete this path correctly save this file and now you can close your terminal session again open your terminal session and try to run the same application and see this time it runs successfully did this bonus tip help you do let me know in the comment section